EVGA's ACX 2.0 cooler with its three-phase six-slot motor, 11-swept fan blades, and double ball bearing design offers reduced power, noise, and thermals for the optimum gaming experience. Click the link in the description to learn more. Hey, what's up guys? Jay's Two Cents here in Little J, and I've been talking about on Twitter for a while now that I'm gonna build her a new computer, and you tell them why. Because my, my, this computer was my old computer, and now when I turn it on, it takes like five minutes to load on, and now that it's really slow, and I had it for a long time, me and my dad are gonna build a new computer. That's right. This one right here, I don't even remember all the specs to be honest, but if you have any indication of the age, it's got IDE cables for the hard drives and the optical drives, so it's pretty old. Yeah, it legitimately takes anywhere between 5 to 10 minutes to boot up. It's so slow. It's an Athlon AMD X3. I don't even remember which motherboard. I know it's a Biostar. It's an N68 S3. On, what? I've been on this computer in, since I was 3. <laughs> Yeah, we built this when she was three. Uh, you had just turned three, actually. Now you're five. And now it's time to get an upgrade. So let's go ahead and get all the new parts out here, and I'm going to show you what's going in your new computer. Okay, so for parts, this is what we're going with. Now, I've been watching your guys' Twitter comments. She's not getting three-way 780s. She's not getting X99. She's not getting the R1990X Matrix Platinum. This is what she's getting. She's getting the Gigabyte F2 A88X D3H. What a cute little model right here, I'm telling you, huh? It's an FM2 Plus processor, which we're gonna be putting my A10 7850K Kaveri uh, APU in there. And because we're putting that APU in there, uh, if you guys are copying this build, there's some things on here I wouldn't exactly copy. Like for instance, um, I wouldn't put the, if you're gonna put a graphics card in there, I wouldn't put the A10 7850K. I would go with like, the Athlon 760 or the new 860, it would make more sense. It'd be cheaper, actually. Um, the graphics card, we are gonna be doing the R7 250 from Sapphire. This is the passively cooled one. I'll probably put it in dual graphics mode because really, why the heck not? It's there. Um, Enermax has sent over uh, the Revolution XT Gold 530 watt power supply. So this was sponsored by Enermax. Thank you for that. To keep things nice and cool, We've got the Cooler Master Hyper D92 cooler. It's a pretty decent four pipe direct copper contact uh, cooler. It's gonna be going inside there to keep things nice and cool. Her old case her, was all stock cooler stuff. It was pretty terrible. And when I wanted to turn it on, it took like five minutes to load. She's never gonna stop letting everyone know that because it, she really hated how long it took. Mm -hmm. um, some parts that are being reused here, we're using a Seagate 7200 RPM, 250 gigabyte drive. Uh, and a Crucial M4 SSD. This was actually my first SSD I got a long time ago. It's made it through like three or four of my computers. Um, still got 100% life on it, so we're gonna go ahead and reuse that. Um, that's gonna be replacing her terrible IDE hard drive. Now for RAM here, we are using the... Now I know, I know you guys are gonna have some, probably some crooked faces when you see this. It's actually the AMD R9 Radeon Gaming RAM. Will you stop it? 2400 RPM, or RPM, 2400 megahertz, same thing for a computer, right? And it's a little bit overkill for this build, but really it's the only DDR3 DIMMs I have right now that are not being used. So these will probably get swapped out in the future. You are being one <laughs> goober, I tell you. These will probably be swapped out for something a little less extravagant. Um, but anyway, Enermax also sent over the uh, these fans right here, these 412 centimeter uh, white LED fans, which will look really good in her uh, Intermac Ostrog pink case. Now, she's all about the princess theme stuff, so we went with the pink case. Um, so I definitely have to send a huge shout out to Gigabyte and Intermax for supporting the parts of the build that we did not have. And of course, uh, if it wasn't for sponsors and viewers and stuff like that, we wouldn't be able to do these builds. So you better tell everybody thank you. I know, right? How could you say no to that face? If I want something, I just say it's for my daughter. Send that picture and anything I want comes in here. That's how you get review product, people. All right, so we're going to go ahead and just build this thing. She is going to be my helper. I'm going to make her do all the screwing. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get started.
right guys, so we are done and she has just built her very first computer. Now I wanna talk about a couple of things here real quick. Um, I still have to put her wireless card in here from the other computer, I forgot to yank that out. Um, and we did change the cooler midway through from the Cooler Master D92 to the uh, Cooler Master Hyper 612. And the reason why we did that is it appears we might have been missing some hardware. So I'll be contacting Cooler Master and asking them to uh, send over the missing AMD bracket and screws that were supposed to go with it. But anyway, uh, why don't you tell us how you felt about building your first computer? I loved building my first computer. It was really awesome. Well, what was the hardest part? Mm. Oh, pulling the little rubber things? Yeah, and I, the only things I really had to help her with, like actually really more or less do with her hands on there so that she'd know what it felt like was the front uh, panel connectors, because those are always real tedious, although she had no problems plugging them in. The problem was I told her to do it color coded and the color coding on this motherboard is not the same color coding as what's on the case plugs. So those were different. But other than that, um, she pretty much did this one all by herself. And we went ahead and did you it. You helped me. I did help you, but you did this, like you were the one doing the work on this. So um, the cable management I helped with a little bit, but other than that. He it, did a piece. I did a piece. Now we already did a test boot on this in her little desk area and it boots up pretty good. Well, it, it actually boots up. up. Yeah, all the LED fans light up the inside of the case real nice. And on, and on the pink part, one of the pink parts, um, it has a red glowing light. It's pretty awesome. Well, the front of the case, because there's an LED fan in there, but it's a solid panel, the LED actually makes a glowing circle on the front of the case. Mm -hmm. So guys, if my five-year-old can build a PC, you guys can build a PC. So I just did this video, one, because she needed a new computer, two, it, would have, it was a good daddy-daughter bonding experience, and three, uh, I just wanted to show those people who said building a computer, they're afraid to try it, and they just want to do store-bought. Guys, if a five-year-old can do this with a little bit of help, I think you guys can too. So anyway, we're going to get on out of here. Say bye to everybody. Bye, everybody. And uh, See you next time. Yeah, and I guess we might load some Steam on here and see what kind of kids' games we've got. She has never seen Steam. She's never had a computer that could run anything from Steam, and I think it's time to start checking out the kids' library. All right, guys, see you next time.